Right, exciting day. Top workshop begins. We've got the stairs uncovered, just there, and uh, we've got a fill in along there, then I've got a run of the wiring and everything, and uh, then just doing loads of earth bags. But the first job is to get a load of earth up there and get a load of bags filled. Right, the uh, stairs have been uncovered, so the wiring has to come up the stairs from downstairs because all the uh, wiring's in the man cave. So uh, we've got to fill in up here and then run the cables and wires all the way around the walls for the plugs, all the way around there. We have to keep all of the uh, bags covered up from the sun whenever we can because if the UV gets them they, they deteriorate and fall apart. So yeah, first job, fill in, all in here. First bag of the year going in. So we want it to go it down there and I'll roll it into there. Um, yeah, we want it so the knot is that side. Yeah. So we lift it from there because you can't roll it in that far. Wow. Hurry up. One, two, three. Okay, and you see a little one sitting there and we have to patch that one up. I don't know what you call that technique. Uh, see, that was rodeo, innit? The rodeo? Yeah. Yeah. Those are our ring, that's our lights. And uh, if I'd have labelled them, it would have saved me about half an hour. <laughs> right, hey everyone, so today's job is to run all the wires and everything for the top workshop. Uh, I've run everything up to the staircase um, from the lower workshop to all the power feeds from the corner, um, from the RC, uh, RCD, no, consumer unit in the corner down here, goes up the staircase up to the top workshop. So all the cables are here, as you can see, they're all run, everything's off. But today's job is to run all the cabling for all the plug sockets and everything around the walls because we've got the top workshop uncovered. I haven't seen this for, well, like a year. Yeah, it's quite big, as you can see. Me and Sam have done a row already in our uh, spare time, essentially from do it between doing the greenhouse, uh, but yeah first time it's been uncovered in ages and it's massive so we're gonna run the plug socket ring circuit on these set of bags and then just carry on earth bagging round that is the job for this week
I reckon we can get a good few rows up. Let's see if we can give you a good view of it from the corner. But yeah, you can see it's a pretty big workshop. There's a staircase. Yeah. Yeah, right, literally as soon as I got the covers off, it uh, started chucking it down in rain. It stopped now, but we started running the wires. Let's take you up the staircase. Ah, right, so let me show you what's going on. All right, wires come up the stairs, they go into a plug. This is the ring main, UK ring main, 240 volt. And then they come along here, plug, 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 all the way around. To the door, leave a length of cable ready to jump the door, jumps the door, and then it's going to come round the edge of here. Plugs sit on these uh, pieces of wood we make with nails through them, and then it goes all the way around and then down the staircase uh, down to the uh, consumer unit at the, uh, the lower workshop. Ready, Sam? Yep. Right, we just uh, got another row of bags up, plug sockets fitted and uh, it's getting hot, so everything's drying out, which is nice for once. Uh, finally having a bit of a sweep up and a tidy up to get these all covered up properly, because uh, it's been about well over a year now since uh, all this has come up and been uncovered. So get it all swept up, get it covered over to protect it from the UV, and just start getting some more and more bags up. Won't be long, we'll be up to the window frames, and it won't be long after that, will be fitting the door, and all that kind of stuff. So going to progress fairly quick because a lot of the work in the building the foundation all that kind of stuff is all there it's just going straight up right getting hot though hey everyone so it's uh, the next day and uh, earth bagging again earth bagging is going to be probably the trend for a little bit longer um, I ordered 2,000 bags for the whole building and we're down to the last 500 bag sack which actually is surprisingly oh, so the entire uh, mass of bags that went into this whole building downstairs and upstairs was uh, just four of these, which you can see is actually not that much. Uh, does look very plasticky, but there's actually hardly any plastic. It's almost entirely earth. The bag is just obviously forms. Uh, but yeah, it's not that exciting to uh, fill, watching filling 500 earth bags. So uh, we're just filling them and then doing quick time lapse of fitting them. There's going to be another couple of rows yet before uh, I'm up to window uh, seals and putting the frames in and the door and stuff. Uh, but it's not going to be long now before there's going to be a big roundwood timber frame in the middle and uh, window frames, uh, door frame with all tenons and stuff. So it's going to start getting pretty interesting and coming along pretty quick now. Uh, probably try and get a bit of a row done today, probably all, all of the back wall round and uh, just carry on earth bagging really um, for a bit so yeah let's get on with it all right walk up the hill go and let the chickens out for the day they can rummage about in the field and then it is back to earth bagging fun 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 yes yes i'm coming i'm coming don't worry come on then come on come on Come yeah, on. Oh, lovely day, chicken, see? What a lovely day. Any eggs? One, two, and a smashed one. Brilliant. Wonder why that is. You are some lucky chickens, aren't you? You are some well looked after chickens with your castle.
Hey everyone, so it's another day of earth bagging today. Uh, I haven't done anything on the uh, top workshop for a few days because I've had to work on my van a bit. The uh, frame was rusted so it's still a lot of welding on it. So I'm a bit behind but hopefully get a row done today and that's going to take us up to uh, window sill height then. And uh, so then we can get the window boxes in and things will get a little bit more interesting after that point. Uh, so yeah, one, one row to do today, about 30 or so bags, something like that. And, uh, and windows. So we're just uh, cutting up some big slabs to uh, build a platform across the stairs so we've got access. Gotta make these tapered because uh, the stairs curve round. Oh, it's a scorcher today. Hot. Very, very hot. So there we go, there's a little access platform that's going to be built into the wall. It's also going to offer a, that uh, wall there which is quite high, a lot of stability. Um, so that part there is going to remain permanent, that'll be there, there's going to be a light in the top of it and something to you know, just put things on. But then after that point it will get to the point where you start hitting your head on it as you come up the stairs. So the rest of it I'm going to build in just temporary so we can access the wall properly. Just into the bags below as the bags harden, that will grip that. This is ready to bag now. These ones are permanent, these are temporary and going to be pulled out later. We've got wiring for various different plugs and things, and uh, ready to put a row of bags on this side and then build up that wall. Right, so that's the platform done. So the back one's there, permanent. These ones getting cut out after. They're just access for now. Right, get this covered up and out of the UV. Right, it was a good day, got some more bags done. As you see it's uh, coming along quite well now, getting up to uh, windowsill height, didn't get much footage done. I'm so far behind with the building, just trying to get some, uh, get caught up really. Uh, but I'll do some more filming soon. But it's evening, nice evening, we're gonna go let the sheep through onto another bit of field. Some fresh grass, so it's always fun to watch. I'll take it along. Come on then sheep. Come on. Come on. Get on some fresh grass. They know what's happening. You know what's happening, didn't you girls? Oh, look at this one here. They know what's going on. Oh, come on. Right, wedge that one open with the stick because I haven't cut this uh, piece of wood off yet. Oh, look. That is so cute, isn't it? They know. Ha 
happy sheep. Happy ladies. Should we got the wolf to come? Oh yeah, you got the water now, haven't you? And now you got a longer it? walk as well. Huh? You got a longer walk as well <laughs> with your water. Oh dear. Happy sheep. Oh, we've got a straggler. You know they're going to remember when they realise you haven't actually got anything in your hand. Yeah, but then I will have something in my hand another time and they'll be like, oh, I'm lucky. I can't believe you're tricking them. That's your gang. Come on, Pauline, you straggler. Come on, girl. All your mates are waiting for you. Come on. Go on, Go on, get in there. Go on. There's a good girl. Yeah, I know, Mr. Cockle. She tricked you, didn't she? She tricked you. I wouldn't trust her again. <laughs> well, I've uh, done my shoulder again. So don't have a go at me. But that's why Sam is now doing these on his own. <laughs> Yes, other way around. Sorry, they've got to be staggered. Sorry, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like he's weak a bit. Yeah. You've got to go right past that Right then, so uh, Sam's just fitted those few bags on his own. So we're now at a point where we can cover this back up for a few days and just make the window frames in the workshop and we'll just come out there and fit them. Yeah, that's gonna be it for this video. We're gonna now cover up that. We're at the stage for the window frames, so we're gonna make them in the workshop over the next few days. Ooh, careful, Sam. Uh, yeah, we're gonna make those in here over the next few days and uh, that'll be the next video. Okay, yeah, sorry I didn't get too much footage of it. A lot of people helping didn't really want to be on camera and I was really focused on just getting that stage of it done and just get it up because I'm quite far behind with it. We've got bad weather coming in the winter and that needs to be done. So, yeah, that's why I've been a bit lax in the filming of it. Uh, but we're going to get better now and the next video will be us, me and Sam, making window frames in here and getting them fitted. All right, hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.